Justin Whitehead, aka Ginger. And Chris Ruff, <laughs> aka Coffee Black. Tap, 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 ho! Yo, what's up, world? It's Tap and Sack, episode three. I'm one of your hosts, Houston Whitehead, aka Ginger Ale. How'd you do it? And Chris Rush, <laughs> aka Coffee Black. <laughs> With uh, bringing back the co-host after unpopular demand, <laughs> Alex Clark. The LAPD! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're here. Episode 3, we got some file corruption, so we're uh, we're a little bit behind. But uh, don't worry, you can get your weekly dose. Well, bi-weekly dose of Tap and Sack. A little bit late. But uh, it, it's worth it, I promise. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's mm-hmm. going to be good. Good stuff. So uh, we're going to cover uh, two two of the Star City tournaments. One, first being um, the Invitational list. Um, Angel Delver won Invitational this, uh, two weekends ago, which <sighs> is kind of um, breaks Chris's heart. Yeah, pretty boring. He's That's like all that baby. is. <laughs> the evolution of Delver going into... Angels, God's on their side now. Um, can't beat that. So that, that I mean, that's pretty much the mention. I don't really, I don't really want to talk about it that much. They just, no. just <laughs> some of them took out guys and put in angels. Some of them didn't take out guys and put in angels anyway. It's just they just moved the curve a little bit higher. Like instead, instead of having like stalkers and a bunch of weapons or equipment, they just kind of. Have angels to save their shit now. It seems like, like they're just they're mixing just it up for each other. other. Like, like yeah. there's like we're gonna see Delver in the finals anyway. Let's just play for each other, have some fun. Yeah, I'm gonna throw Chandra's, Chandra's Phoenix, Phoenix in there in the sideboard side just to fuck with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, it seems like there's just three evolutions of Delver. There's the visible stalker, straight equipment, you know, pikes and sword, slam your face aggro. And there's kind of the controly with you know Geist and with the mana leaks and all that stuff. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. the the curve's a little lower. And then the higher version of the curve is kind of the Angel Delver, which has a little bit better late game, has a little more sustainability, can punch you in the face with bigger dudes in the air, doesn't run as many equipment, if any at all. Mm-hmm. So there's kind of like three versions of Annoying Delver. Um, I, but, there might be another one if Greg Wesco gets his way. What's What's that version? Uh, adding red for Bonfire the Damned. <laughs> it's just that good. Yeah, we'll add in Treat, too. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> God, that's terrible. <laughs> Let's just run Bonfire. America Miracles with Mer- Delver. America Delver. America. <laughs> America. Just yeah, in there. 16 Miracles and Delver. Bon Delver. Bon Delver. Do they still what? play Rug Delver? Is that Is still around? I haven't seen it. I haven't really either. I've seen no. what rug rug humans with wait is that wait rug yeah I've seen rug humans yeah but it was it was pretty much rug Delver but it had you know lava mancer and Delver and Mayor I've seen that list and it was pretty is the okay. blue just for Snapcaster yep the, and and Delver oh they oh, still run Delver too okay yeah gotcha, he's gotcha. a human even when he flips so he's a oh, four three okay. flyer. With uh, Mayor on the field. Wow. Yeah, and then it, you know it runs some burn, and uh, it ran the the deck I played against had a couple of beasts within for like Planeswalker stuff, and Blue had Leak, and Snap. It had, he had like two Snapcasters in it, and I don't know. It, it I mean it had sustainability. It had a couple uh, equipment. I think it had a couple swords in it, mm. but. I don't really think it's played. It's probably not strong enough to beat the regular Delver. Oh. But. Well, if they got that bonfire, though, I mean, that seems wicked. But boom, guess... Yeah, this was before Bonfire even came out. Oh. This was like a right when Snapcaster came out. It was the last time I saw it. Oh. I guess they just counter it anyway, though, right? That's all they do? I suppose. Mm-hmm. If they run counters. Garbage. Who knows what, like, kind... 
it, it, it's like it makes Delver more fierce when there's like more versions of it because when you see see Chrome Coast on turn one, you don't know what the fuck you're playing. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're just like, oh, I see Delver. Well, that doesn't explain anything either. And then you're just, you have to wait till you, I don't know, they get their win condition out to blast you in the face before you know like what kind of Delver it is. Sometimes after like game one, you still don't know what kind of Delver you're playing because they did Delver, Delver, double flip and beat you in the face. Um, so that's it. Seems like it's making it rough, more rough on the other decks, but yeah, apparently not because in Detroit this weekend. Um, there was only one Delver deck in the top eight. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. blue back blue black zombies took the tournament in standard, which kinda of surprised me, but I think it's cool at the same time. I played the deck for quite a long well a long time before I guess around when I got started, because I had the obliterator tech when we were brewing for Memphis or whatever and I really enjoyed it but um, I got I switched decks so often I've kind of got tired of playing it but so you did play this list though? like his list? This, no 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 uh, Blood Artist wasn't even out yet oh okay, okay. Blood, Bloodline Keeper if anyone played it it was in the side um, no one touched Highborn Google <laughs> um, <laughs> but, I mean we ran uh I, I ran four captain four uh, cemetery re- or two cemetery reaper because that's when frights was really big and I could yeah. drain their wind condition out of their yard because for some reason a lot of people don't know that you can uh, use cemetery reaper to grab something from another graveyard not just yours um, and we ran you know the four messenger four grave caller a couple mortar pod a couple of the uh, the one drop guys fume spitters which aren't even in this list yeah. if we draw diagraph ghouls Watch so, and then we had I had four phantasmal images and one metamorph so I just went to copy town on my grave crawler or my captain any of my lord effects and we ran you know the tragic slips and the guest verdict stuff this deck has two killing waves in it which that's I pretty st- cool I will still stand by and say that this card is awful but in this list, it seems like it could be okay because you don't mind sacking any of your creatures. Oh, man. I've never read this card the right way. I didn't know it did all creatures. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was just theirs. Oh, no. Then it would be ballin'. <laughs> yeah, like target player, blah, 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 whatever. It's target everybody. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I don't like yeah. this anymore. Yeah, that yeah. Could... That, that's why it's bad because it hurts you, but when, when there's a deck like that runs Blood Artist... And you're just like, yeah, I'll sack all my dudes or sack all my grave crawlers to yeah, avoid pain the, life. The and when you sack those grave crawlers, you get the life back from the blood artists already on the field. It doesn't really hurt mm. you that bad, you know? Yeah, that's um, pretty good. So it kinda, I, I'm assuming this, it, it just kind of counteracts your life loss and you, your countering doesn't really matter. Or, or yeah. your uh, loss of creatures doesn't really matter because you can either get them back or they come back on uh, undying triggers. Cool. Which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it's kind of... He's got two Undying Evil on the side. Oh, he's got two Sabotage. That's hot. I ran that in Memphis. I was so proud of that tech. It <laughs> helped me so much in Mono Red. I just put in the Obliterators and the Sabotages and bounce their Shrines back to their hand. Yeah. It helped that's me brutal. counter... I countered a couple Worm Coils with it. It was kind of hot. <laughs> or, uh, or oh, what's his back? Appetite, Appetite for Brains... brains. The new one drop discard spell it grabs a four or greater. Ugh. Yeah, grabs your bomb. So uh, it grabs you know, know a hunt master or an angel or planeswalkers. Planeswalkers, almost any planeswalker except for Lily. That's true. And I know that. Tavalt, since he gets played so much, he gets under the radar. <laughs> mm-hmm. So right, as experiment, they failed. <laughs> um... <laughs> This deck looks pretty cool, though. I never really thought yeah, about it. I really like Blood Artist. I'm hoping to to brew up something vam, vampiric when uh, M13 comes out with him in it, because he is a vampire. Go on. Uh, Nocturnus. <laughs> Turn my zero one one into a 2-2 two, two flyer. Go on. 2-3. Two, two, uh, 
two three. It just gives them plus two plus one in flying, right? Well, maybe you might be right. Yeah, you know, with night and you know night hawk. Yeah, I don't give a fucking call. play child at night. I don't care. No, what's the what's the the child two of drop? The night. <laughs> child of night. I can't wait to answer a um. The guy when they play a dude, they lose a life. Um, I don't know. I want to play him in the two. Spot. Inner Looper, one of those. No, that's the no, flyer, right? That's the flyer. He seems okay too. Turn yeah, him into a, a, a four two. Yeah, that's yeah, wicked. wicked. You kind of don't want to block anyway. I would. Think. I know black version of it. What version? Mono black. Are you going to go mono black? Or are you going to go red black? You can splash red for the was, captain. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about the captain. Red. Um, and bonfire. I don't know if I would. Bonfire. I would probably put a little yeah. bit of burn. Yeah, bonfire would be okay. I don't know how much red sources I'm going to have in there, but uh, anything. I really don't want to run like burn and stuff. I'd rather run in black removal because I don't want to be. I, I want Nocturnus to be turned on every time when he is played. Yeah. Uh, I don't it, like. I would play like Falcon Wrath, Aristocrat, or like Olivia or something because it still turns him on. Turns him on, Olivia. Oh yeah, you gotta, gotta run Olivia. Von then. Boner. <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of like Aristocrat a lot. What does Aristocrat do? It's the four one flyer for a, a black red and two colorless, and he has hate the haste flyer, and you mm-hmm. can sack a creature to make her indestructible. If it was a human, she gets a plus one plus one counter. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. good. You can sack and save her, and it'll it'll activate the the blood artist trigger. Huh, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know if, like, what kind of recursion there would be, because, like, I mean, you kind of want some recursion um, to get them back, because, I mean, you don't want to, like, sack your Nighthawk or anything, but mm-hmm. maybe maybe you just don't care and you just let her die, I don't know. I would, you want to be winning by that turn anyways, so... Yeah. It, it seems like it curves out really well, and then you... Uh, I was also thinking of just going with white, and... I, I'd be good against like a mirror match because I could have purges in the side even though mm-hmm. that kind of turned off Nocturnus but maybe it would be worth it and then running Soren because he makes 1-1 one, one lifelink vampires which could be turned into 3-2 beaters with lifelink well, like, that's not bad you can run yeah. a ring for for uh, planeswalkers or whatever like Soren, Soren's a beast so the white is also an avenue but a lot of cards that you would add, like sideboard wise, could make Nocturnus worse. Hmm. Just a little thought. I like it though. I didn't. I never thought about white. Well, I mean, when Soren makes free, possibly three, three, two life linkers, it's worth considering. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. I'm looking at the um, 